Okay, we have another gentleman. And he is right here. Right there. There we go. Research. Uh, let's see. Actually, I shouldn't have you be searching top gallants, because do I really need that? Uh, what I do need is more income. And uh, actually, I need a repression as well. So um, that might be a good thing to go for. But take a look at all the stuff right here. Minus to wealth generated by mines. This is horrible. Why would I do this? Of course, happiness to lower classes, but I don't really need that right now. Technology research rate, abolition of slavery. None of them will actually give me any income, so that is not a good idea. That is not anything to go for right now. That is certainly a good idea, but it is not anything to go for right now. Code Napoleon. Uh, happiness. Purely happiness. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go for the poverty control. That will give me some repression. And I might go for happiness uh, at a later point. Also... Oh yeah, this is uh, Prussian revolutionaries. We have a rebellion in our hands. Which means we have to brutally beat it down. But on the situation of Stettin, I of course completely forgot that there are better ways. There really are better ways to go about losing a province you don't really want. And that is of course giving it away. I didn't think about that. It's really, really silly. Also now I can trade here. What happened? Maybe their ports were um, were just crowded, too overcrowded. Let's see. Uh, we are, okay. We have thousand turn. It's uh, it's reasonable. And um, by the way, uh, the British Navy didn't destroy our trading post, so trade is still going. We are not running in negatives. Uh, by the way, we can actually use that to repair. So, do we want drill school or do we want um, the? Uh, the Ordnance Board or Great Arsenal. I think you want a drill school. We want our drill school back. Uh, but I was going. I'm going to give away this region right here, trying to see if any, anyone actually wants it. And I think good a good place to put it is with Denmark, because they're not actually at war with anyone. So let's see. You can have this. Actually, do you have any technology? No, you don't have any technology. And I don't want Norway. Even though I'm Norwegian, Norway is just a bother right now. Would 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 be just a bother right now. Let's see, Pomerania, do you want it? Yes, you did want it. And, once again, that means Prussia can't actually take it back. Woohoo! Let's see, I'm just going to take a look at uh, take a quick look at our actual goals for this campaign. Because I completely forgot somewhere along the line. Uh, somewhere along the way, I should say. Uh, where is it? It's... Uh, there we go. Objectives. So, I'm 17 out of 60. <laughs> this can take a while. Oh, there was the army that was actually hiding. It came out of hiding. Good. Switzerland, why are you not helping me? You have such a massive army. Oh well, I'm used to be not being helped by now. Uh, besides the help I'm getting from uh, from Württemberg. Really, really good job there. Okay, I'll just click an attack order. And just see where this army goes afterwards. And uh, let's see, so that eliminates this trade route, and it reverts it back here, as I hoped. Brilliant. So that means I can do this, and, okay, I will do a naval battle if this actually triggers it. Okay, so I'll do a naval battle. Oh, fucking yeah. <laughs> so then I can finally get my trade going in the Mediterranean, and I can trade with the Ottomans. I think maybe not Italian state, but uh, one of the Italian states, which I'm not trading with at the moment. And by the way, we're starting incredibly close here, aren't we? 
Aren't we? Hmm. Uh, let's see. There we go. We can group. And then the groups actually don't mess up. Of course, I select all of them, so that might have something to do with it, but... Then again... Let's see, we have a few 22 gunship lines. 74 gunship line, and this is the captain's... Captain's, um... Or admiral's flagship, I should say. And uh, here he is, uh, that must be him. And there is his second in command, I think. And there is the crew, all ready to just wipe the floor with some, some almost at Spanish, but I mean, of course, Austrian uh, enemies, enemy sailors. So we are up against a 80 ship, uh, 80 gun ship of line, two of them, and a 38 gun frigate. That should be doable, right? And uh, unfortunately, we don't really have the win on our side, but that can be that can be solved by doing something along along the lines of this. Let's see where is the there we go. I think I'll hold off uh, hold off the fire by now. This is a bad angle, but uh, it has to be. Let's see, I think we are... Yeah, this is a good good enough angle. Oh. I thought I pressed T, but I pressed something else, apparently. And holy mother of smoke. <laughs> this frigate is definitely not having the best of times. Also, the second big ship is opening up. Okay, we have done some damage to the ship, but not any serious damage yet. Only 11 guns um, actually gone there. Only one here, and I think this one, this one is the most struggling one, just because of the low number of guns they have at the start anyway, and also they have some uh, slight problems here. Yeah, only lost one gun though. No, oh, you really had a wide turn there. Not the best turning ratio, obviously. Here are some 80 guns, 32, 32, 38 of course, uh, 38, 32, yeah. A good mix, in other words. So is it still being pelted? Apparently it is. Uh, of course, it is at the extreme range of many of these ships, so uh, combine that with the low number of guns they actually do have, and you have not that fast of a battle. This might uh, take a while. So we actually just have to chase them. More like that. Yeah. Also, this ship should be dead a long time ago, seriously. Hmm. Didn't a frigate... Yeah, I think a frigate, like, just lost after one single volley from one of the biggest uh, British ships in the Battle of the Nile. I think it was, like, just one broadside and the ship was just... It just have, didn't have any fighting capabilities left. Or it maybe just surrendered. That, that is also a possibility. So this might be a large frigate, but consider the amount of uh, gun of uh, fire from the main guns they have endured. 
And now they finally surrendered. So that is that ship gone. I don't have to worry about this anymore. And are you guys running away or are you coming to get me? Are you turning around to get me? Apparently we are turning around to get me. Very, very good. And the turning radius is not the best, once again. <laughs> not at all. Okay, try to cut in between this line. Or maybe go like this, seeing that this is just the start of a really, really, really long line. Okay, a bit closer range now. Let's try to get up some good shots here. Hmm, quite. Also, here, <laughs> this will be even more brutal. Also, try to get away from the smoke. If I stay too long in it, I get horrible frame rate issues. Very, very, very nice to actually watch. I quite enjoy it. I guess just continue this way, because this ship will just follow the first one. Actually, I might consider just switching to a chain shot, so we'll get their uh, almost their shields down. I think I'll be watching too much Star Wars and Star Trek and like every other sci-fi, but trying to get their mast down. No, you are too long a range. You'll just have to settle with the uh, regular ammo. And apparently that didn't do jack shit. I might just have to hold fire. Well, I actually, so they don't blow their load too early and go like, like right to the left of the entire ship. Okay, we'll try again. There we go. Could of course try to board it as well, but I haven't had the best of luck with boarding. Okay, actually, let's try it. Oh. I guess never mind then. Also, all of these shots should bring this down eventually. Take a look at the hull armor. And I don't think the morale is the best either. Okay, switch to grape shots and try to do damage. 171 against 328. And that is not the most realistic turn. <laughs> Once again, not being the most effective. But hey, this is really nothing to complain about. Hundred forty seven against three hundred and twenty four. This should be uh, this should be a solid French victory. Also, I get a new 80 gun ship in my in my navy, or I take the prize money. I might actually go for the prize money. What did you say? I couldn't actually hear what he said. Something about orders. Maybe like this ship needs orders, seeing that the previous order was completed. I don't know. Seems reasonable. But this ship is definitely losing. Okay, you know what? I'll ungroup you guys and just have you do this. See, you have good lines, you can just do that and you can do the same. Actually, more like that. There we go. Uh, he is almost completely dismasted, which is very, very good. He's barely moving. Okay, just 
try to make a as a B of a line as possible. Okay, this is sinking. This is seriously sinking. Just look at that list. Actually, just just forget about solid shot now because if I want to capture capture this, uh, <laughs> okay, this is almost trying to sink itself with these turns. I think it is actually. It might be. Yeah, so I don't think this uh, this ship will actually um, will actually survive this. But at least we have to board it and make sure it stops. And there it stopped. Uh, it might actually have begun sinking. So they lost two, and all we okay, we got the the 80 gun ship of the line. But do we want it? That is really the question. Can I do the same with no. I can't do the same with all the stuff. 1778. The year before, eleven years before the revolution, almost said uh, <laughs> said that it's a year after the start of the American one, isn't it? Or the um, American Independence War or Revolutionary War? I think so. Seventeen seventy might be seventeen seventy six. I think that that actually might be the year I'm thinking about. But I need that money. And look at that. Trade re-established. Economy sorta up and running. And uh, really the only problem uh, with uh, the remaining uh, or uh, resuming the uh, the trade I already have going is really the um, let's see. There we go. That is the Ottomans and the Austrians are kind of ruining the whole whole thing because somehow the trading ports are based out of Athens or Greece not their capital let's see is this a trade no it's a dry dock well that might explain it okay then so we'll probably be blockaded here and lose just everything but we'll we'll cross our fingers and hope for the best Anyway, dock and repair. That actually cost more money <laughs> than I gained in the previous battle. Brilliant. 1814, quite an important year when it comes to Norway and actually um, the, uh, the European continent in general, but especially Norway. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Repair costs. I can actually afford that. Yay. Okay, I need more garrison units in Berlin. Let's see, Chasseur, do I really want you? I'll just take some conscripts. They're actually pretty, pretty good for what the what the, their uh, recruitment cost is. And uh, the Prussian revolutionaries have actually spawned a complete army. And actually, quite a damn good one with. Okay, this is actually quite fitting. Come to speak, come to uh, think of it. Uh, if you just abandon the artillery and cavalry, these are guerrilla men, or could be to uh, could be um, what's the word? Thought of as guerrilla men. Hmm. So actually, all of them having skirmishers and nothing else. That's actually quite fitting. I think I have to sit my cavalry out. Yeah, I really think I have to, and just stay back and focus on my artillery and on protecting said artillery. On the attack. Go!
So, welcome to the very festive Prenslau farmland. Very festive conditions, as I said. It's raining. Oh, wait, it's not raining. With the power of the debug camera, we can make it not rain, or appear not to be raining. Brilliant if you want to uh, actually rely on gunpowder to, <laughs> to help you win the battle. But I think we will be fine. Once again, I'll sit out the cavalry. I can't actually... I think... Yeah, I think actually every single uh, unit of cavalry returned, so... Uh, I don't want to risk any, any more of this. Chevaux Lantier. Chevaux Lantier, they have... Wow, they really have a lot of uh, experience. 18 morale, wow. And what about guards? They have the same amount. And what about their morale? <laughs> 23. Anyway. So, uh, we need to get this in range. Or we just have to, uh, to hope that the enemy will actually go on and come towards us. But seeing that they have the artillery advantage, uh, when it comes to range, I don't really think so. Also, I think I'll just do it the easy way and just mass everything. Let's see. Right there. There we go. Just run up as quickly as possible. And drag the artillery up into a better position. Uh, I don't think this will be in range. Hopefully it will be. But I don't have a good feeling about it. And here comes the dragoons. And dragoons. And even more dragoons. And so on. <laughs> so, thankfully, we have squares, which in theory solves all of our problems. Okay, the 12 pounders haven't actually started firing yet. I really don't have a problem with that. Looking good. And all of these guys are running their little butts off. Those little butts. Okay, are they actually advancing on me? They don't appear to be, and I have, once again, no problem with that. I just need my men to get in position. And hopefully these guys will be in range. Actually, I'll, I'll place them here, trying to be a bit extra sure. And I think I might take you and actually place you on top here. Just take a look at the... Well, I don't think it actually matters. Might actually be better to have them down here. When taking into account the... Um, the, uh, the arc, the the cannonballs will actually have. There we go, trying to make make ourselves a bit more artillery proof, friendly friendly artillery proof. So we'll just fast forward. And push up bit further. Try to get the artillery into the best position here. Hopefully not bug out too much. And there we go for most of the artillery. Actually toggle toggle uh uh, no, just toggle fire it will off for those guys, just because 
they might hit some fallen artillery. And these guys try to um, try to unlimber. That often happens, believe me. There we go. All of them are unlimbered. Just waiting for these guys to these horses to actually pass. Yeah, you can see what I'm talking about. And that should be enough. There we go. The battle is 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 on. It has started. And now we just sit back and wait. Hmm. I'm really surprised by the cavalry not going, not yoloing at the first possibility. Well, then again, I'm seeing some. Uh, I'm seeing some tendencies to that. Bit hard to tell, honestly. Okay, those guys haven't taken any casualties, I think. So I think all of the, uh, the efforts are going on the um, on the artillery. Also, after all this, uh, after all this battling, uh, my artillery has, in the process, gathered a lot of experience, and I didn't actually realize that. Yeah, you can see the friendly fire here. These guys shooting and hitting, hitting my own man squarely in the face. But that is the way of things. That is how the cookie crumbles. That is how the cookie crumbles. There we go. Try to <laughs> to fix the complete mess up. Prussian Fusilier being completely stupid and forgetting that they do have, in fact, better range than I do. And they completely waste the opportunity to take that uh, to... Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna find the unit which can't do square. Which even can't you square here? Or did I just... Huh. I somehow saw this, like, grayed out completely. Anyway. Oh. This is... This is quite brutal for this one unit. But the young god, on the other hand, is actually doing very, very good. Once again, I don't see why they are just completely, just completely being uh, idiot, idiots, completely idiotic and just mashing all of their units like completely up to me, even though they have highly superior range compared to me. When it comes to, le let's see, do they have Silesian Schutzen? Is that the unit they have? Or is it Jaegers? I think it might be Jaegers. Yeah, it's Jaeger. There we go, those guys are toast. And the rest of the line is a line of squares. Which has very, very much friendly fire going on. Yeah, as I said, I think most of this, uh, most of this damage being done is actually friendly fire. So <laughs> that is not the best of ideas, but apparently it is working. So I don't have too much reason to complain. All I want is you guys to stop firing at everything else and go after the target that actually matters.
Also, if you hit the cavalry, they go into a complete frenzy and just go on a YOLO charge. Except for that time. Well, I'm not too mad. They are taking casualties. So. That is a step forward in my plan to win this battle. Which, shockingly enough, involves killing enemies. Let's see. Yeah, they are they are accurate. And quite deadly, the the Jaegers. 